Dear viewers, welcome to the guidance video on correct tax invoices under the VAT regime. We have created this short video to explain the compulsory details required on a tax invoice. We hope that this video will be insightful and helpful to you and your team. One of the important compliance requirements under the VAT law is to exchange correct tax invoices. It is important for your company to issue a correct tax invoice. Failure to issue correct tax invoice could result in a penalty of 5000 dirhams or more. It is equally important that your customer receives a correct tax invoice. This enables them to recover input VAT credit on your supplies. Correct tax invoices should result in efficient invoice processing for both parties. Let us start by discussing the tax invoices for standard rated supplies of value more than 10,000 dirhams. The first requirement is that the invoices must be titled as tax invoice. Next. The invoice must contain your details. Your company's complete name, mailing address and TRN must be mentioned on the invoice. The mailing address should comprise of office number, plot number or building name, locality, PO box and Emirates. Alternatively, you must at least mention your PO box and corresponding Emirates. Mere mentioning of the locality or building name alone is not sufficient. These details could be mentioned anywhere on the invoice, be it at the top of the invoice or at the bottom or even on your printed letterhead. The third requirement is to mention your customer's complete details. You must mention customer's complete name, mailing address and TRN. For the mailing address, please ensure that at least customer's PO box and corresponding Emirate is mentioned on the invoice. The next requirement is that the invoice should contain the invoice number and the date of the invoice. The invoice should also mention the date of supply if the date of supply is different from the date of invoice. In addition to these details, the invoice could continue to contain additional information that are usually mentioned on an invoice. Further, the invoice should contain the description of the goods or the services supplied along with the corresponding quantity, unit rate and the resultant pre-VAT price. If the invoice contains more than one line item for the goods or the services, then such details should be mentioned for each line item of the goods or services respectively. Very often, Suppliers mention the VAT rate and the VAT amount at a consolidated level at the bottom of the invoice. Please note that displaying the VAT rate and the VAT amount at a consolidated level alone is not in compliance with the VAT laws and FTA guidance. Such non-compliance could result in penalties. The VAT rate and the corresponding VAT amount should be mentioned against each line item of the goods or the services as shown in columns marked by number 11 and 12 on the screen. The aggregate VAT amount and VAT inclusive gross value of the supply should also be mentioned on the invoice as marked by number 13 and 14 on the screen. Any additional field or information is optional. Further, please note that the VAT amount should be rounded off up to two decimal places. Let us also discuss the invoice details for standard rated supplies of value up to 10,000 dirhams. The supplier has an option to issue a simplified tax invoice for such supplies. Alternatively, the supplier could continue to follow a full format invoice. Compared to a full format invoice, only six fields as marked by number 1, 2, 5, 7, 13 and 14 on the screen are mandatory in a simplified tax invoice. You may like to show any other additional information as you may prefer. It remains mandatory to mention your complete details including PO Box and Emirates on a simplified tax invoice as marked by number 2 on the screen. We recommend you to also mention customer's details and invoice number wherever possible. As per a recent FTA communication, the invoice should display the VAT inclusive price for each line item of goods or services supplied as marked by number 15 on the screen. For standard rated supplies in a currency other than the rooms, the tax invoice should contain additional details such as prescribed exchange rate as per central bank and amounts in dirhams. Similarly, the tax credit notes should also contain all prescribed particulars as per the VAT laws. Please note that a formal application can be made to FTA to seek an exception from mentioning any of the prescribed details on a tax invoice or a tax credit note. The process is called application for administrative exception. You may like to explore the process yourself or contact a tax advisor. Unless you have expressed exception approval from FTA, 
all mandatory particulars should be mentioned on the tax invoices and tax credit notes. Needless to say that this video is only for information purposes and limited to particulars of the tax invoice. Thank you for watching this video. We hope that you found this video helpful. Please feel free to connect with Ask Pankaj for assistance on tax issues.